Okay. So, uh, in the last few lectures, we discussed the notion of compactness. We discussed the notion of compactness. However, as we saw, there is an important, there are lots of important spaces which are not compact. However, now note that there are several important spaces which are not compact. For example, Rn. Uh, these places are, however, locally compact. However, locally compact. Which is the next property we shall study. So let's define locally local compactness. Okay, so let X be a topological space. Right? So we say that X is locally compact. Uh, if Every point x in x has an open neighborhood, u such that u closure is compact. Right? An example. It is clear that Rn is locally compact. Right? Because we can take any point and we can take a disk of let's say radius 1 around it. So the closure will be this closed disk. And this is obviously closed and bounded in Rn, and therefore it's compact, right? And so one of the main uh, propositions, a very useful proposition, we are going to prove about locally compact spaces is the following. So the following proposition is very useful. X is locally compact if and only if for any pair x comma w where w is an open subset containing x we can find an open subset V such that X is in V which is contained in V closure and V closure is contained in W and V closure is compact. Okay. So in other words given any X and given any open subset W which contains X we can find a neighborhood V of X such that V closure is compact. Okay. This is V closure. 
Okay, so let us prove this. Uh, it is clear that if uh, this condition holds for any pair x comma w, uh, we can find v such that x belongs to v, v closure is contained in w and v closure is compact, then x is locally compact. Right? We simply apply this condition, we simply apply this condition. to the pair x comma x. Right. So, when we apply this condition to this pair, we will get that there is an open subset u which contains x and u closure is obviously going to be contained inside x and u closure is compact. Okay. So, this proves that. So, that will that is precisely the meaning of being locally compact. So, let us prove the converse. Let us assume that x is locally compact. Okay. So now uh, recall the following assertion. So which we have already seen before. So let y contained in x be a compact subspace. Okay, this is more general here. So, let, so consider the following. More general assertion. Right. So let y contained in x be a compact subspace. Right. And let x be a point in x minus y, right. Then there are open sets, subsets C and D such that y is contained in C, x is contained in D and the intersection C and D are disjoint. So let us see how to prove this. So this is our x, right, and this is our y, and this is our x, right. So for each point y in y, yeah, we can find a neighborhood, since x is Hausdorff, we can find a neighborhood u sub y of x and v sub y of y such that. find neighborhood u sub y containing x, v sub y containing y such that u sub y intersected v sub y is empty. Right? So cover, so we can cover y as we can write as a union of all these v sub y's. Right? As y is compact, This implies there is a finite subcover. Right? And then we let u be equal to the intersection of these u y sub j's. Each u y j contains x, so this implies that x belongs to u. U is a finite intersection of open sets and therefore it is open. And uh, Right, so it's not we can cover. So y is contained in this. Sorry, y is going to be contained in this. And since y is compact, and from what we had seen in one of the early lectures, if we can 
put y into a collection of open subsets, then we can find a finite sub collection of that collection such that y is contained in that. So, uh, x belongs to u, okay. So, let me just and let us look at so let d be equal to u and let c be equal to this union j equal to 1 to n v by j right. So, this v by j is could be something like this right. So, then C contains y and d intersected c is equal to u intersected union j equal to 1 to n v y j this equal to union j equal to 1 to n u intersected v y j, but this contained in union j equal to 1 to n u y j intersected v y j which is empty right. So, this proves our general uh, assertion which is something and we had seen the same proof before earlier as well. So, we will use this general fact yeah. Okay. So, suppose now we return to the proof of our assertion. So, we are assuming that x is locally compact and we want to show that x has this property. Yeah. So, suppose we are given a pair x comma w where w is open yeah and x is contained in w right as x is locally compact this implies there exists a neighborhood open subset such that u closure is compact right. So, uh, this is our x, this is w and let us say u closure is this. So, uh, consider the closed subset y defined as u closure minus, uh, so u closure I will write it as minus w, but this same as u closure intersected with x minus w. w is open, so x minus w is closed, so this is and we are intersecting two closed subsets, so that is a u closure is compact and compact subspace of a host of space is uh, closed and therefore, the intersection of these two is going to be closed. Uh, so, this closed subset it looks something like this right. So, from u closure we are removing w. So, this region is y, right. And uh, right, clearly, x does not belong to y, right. So, thus, uh, okay. So, being a closed subspace of a compact space. Since y is a closed subspace of u closure which is compact, this implies that y is compact. Right? So, thus using this general re result that we proved, yeah, 
So thus, there is, there are open sets C and D such that Y is contained in C, X is contained in D and uh, C intersection D is empty. Right? So, our C could be some open set like this. So, C contains Y right? and D could be some open set like this. Right. So, uh, we can replace D by an open subset which is smaller than D as long as it uh, contains X. Yeah. So, we may replace D by D intersection U. Right. So, U contains X, so therefore D intersection U also contains X and assume that D is contained inside U. Right. So, So, our set D is going to be contained inside U, right. Uh, so, this implies that D closure is also going to be contained inside U closure. Uh, and as U closure is compact, this implies D closure is also compact because it is a closed subspace of a compact space. Yeah. So, now no point of Y. can be in the closure of D, right? Because if Y is a point in Y, then there is a neighborhood of Y, namely C, such that uh, C intersection D is empty. So, this implies that uh, y does not belong to D closure, which implies D closure intersected y is empty. So, uh, as D closure is contained inside U closure and D closure intersection y is empty, this implies D closure is contained in U closure minus y. And as y is equal to u closure minus w, this implies that u closure minus y is equal to u closure intersection w, which is equal to which is contained in w. Right. So thus, we have found. an open set D such that X is in D and D closure is contained in W and D closure is compact. Okay. So, this completes the closure population. So, uh, this proposition is very useful and uh, this, this set theoretic check is very easy and I will leave it to you as a simple exercise. Okay. So, uh, okay. so, next we are going to talk about so compactifying locally compact spaces. So, note the space 
the open interval 0 1 is locally compact. So, uh, that is clear because I mean if we take this interval 0 1 then given any point x we can find a small closed interval around x and we know that this closed interval is yeah homeomorphic to 0 1 which we proved is compact right. Now, uh, notice that it is contained. So, this interval 0 1 is contained as a dense open subset in it is obviously contained the interval 0 1 and also in S 1 right. So, to see this note that 0 1 is homeomorphic to R and using the stereographic projection yeah R is homeomorphic to S 1 minus this north pole. So, R is homeomorphic to S 1 minus this north pole n right. So, this implies that this is homeomorphic to R and this is embedded inside S 1 yeah. So, although we can compactify a locally compact topological space in many ways there is one compactification which is special among all these and which is now which is what we are going to explain now yeah. So, we want to compactify. So, thus there can be many ways to compactify a locally compact topological space. However, one particular compactification is very special and we shall next describe that. So, we will do that in the next lecture. So, we will end this lecture here.